So are we just machines? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> um, the answer is I don't know. But the, the theory that I'm pursuing right now says the answer is no. So I'm, I'm pursuing a theory that says that consciousness itself is fundamental to reality. Not so, so explain, how do you even go about answering that question of whether we're, we're a machine or not? Well, so there's a, a field um, within computer science, it's called um, automata theory, and the, the, something called a Turing machine. And there, it's a whole formal area where, so when we talk about what do we mean by a machine, or are we machines, it's actually a technical question. Are, are we just so-called so Turing machines, or... Um, equivalent to Turing machines. Are we basically just being programmed by, right. by our brains? That, that, is that, is, is that right. really the question? That's, that's really, that's part of the question. It's, um, can we explain everything that we are with unconscious physical systems that just implement circuits that could do Turing machine computations? That would be the technical way of putting out the question. And in some sense, to explain human intelligence, problem solving, attention, memory, and so forth, Turing machine theories turn out to be, as far as we can tell, perfectly fine. There's no hard problem there. We, we have nice technical problems, but to give computational models of attention, memory, learning, problem solving, intelligence, no problem. The real problem comes in the simplest parts of our everyday life, smelling coffee, feeling the uh, velvet, hearing you know, a trumpet. Those raw sensations, we have no idea how to give a Turing, a, a, a machine theory that can start with just machines and give us what, what these conscious experiences are. There's, no one has any clue how to do that. Um, so the things that you would have thought were hard, like intelligence and so forth, turn out to be nice technical problems and we're working on them, but, but they're not mysteries. Just smelling coffee is a mystery. And right now we have no computing machine theories that can start with just unconscious ingredients that compute and give us the smell of coffee as an experience. So that, that is a showstopper for the field. There is not, it's, it's not only do we not have any theories, no scientific theories, and that's a weird thing. We have no scientific theory that can say for any particular sensation like the smell of coffee, that this is the kind of activity in the brain that is required to cause or, or is that experience of the smell of coffee. And here's the principled understanding about why that brain activity is the smell of coffee. We have nothing close to that. In fact, we have no remotely plausible ideas. It's not just that we don't have any theories. There is nothing intelligent that we can say about that right now. There's, there's nothing on the table. It's, that's why we call it the hard problem of consciousness. The theories that, the quote unquote theories that are out there are believed by the person who proposes the theory and their graduate students. And that's about <laughs> it. <laughs> You've just confirmed for me what I always think. I'm going to be um, unnecessarily flippant, which is stop trying to create AI machines to be doctors and fly airplanes and get one that cleans the bathroom and does the ironing. <laughs> and then, I'll, then you'll actually impress me. <laughs> <laughs> right. The stuff that's, that we think is really easy, the common sense, everyday stuff, turns out to be really sophisticated. And stuff like playing chess, and doing, you know, solving certain math problems mm -hmm. turns out to be relatively easy for the computers, even though it's, it's hard for us.